What's going on guys? We're back with another episode of Prim Pros. Now, if you've watched any of our other videos, you should be pretty familiar with the various steps of the DTG process with the Ricoh printers. However, there is another step that many apparel printers often skip and, in some cases, don't even know they have to do at all. Maintenance. While it's easy to overlook or forget this step, regular maintenance is one of the most important things you need to do to extend the life of your printer and make sure your DTG prints always turn out looking bright, vivid, and clean. And not only is it important, but it's also pretty easy to do once you know how. So in today's episode, I'll take you through everything you need to know about properly maintaining your Rico DTG printer. We'll cover how frequently you should be performing maintenance on your equipment, as well as some innovative automatic maintenance features offered by the Rico RI1000 and RI2000. We'll also talk about warning signs to look for to indicate that your equipment is due for maintenance. Finally, we'll go over the proper procedures for performing maintenance on your DTG printer. But before we do, remember, if you like content like this, then be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you stay up to date on our latest videos. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We'll start by answering one of the most common maintenance questions we get about our DTG printers. How often should I do maintenance on my printer? The answer is very simple. Maintenance should be done as frequently as possible. This will help the longevity of the machine. I will be reviewing with you shortly the daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance routine that you need to follow. But first, let's go over an extremely helpful feature that both the Rico RI1000 and 2000 offer automatic ink circulation that helps to prevent ink from clogging up your lines and your nozzles. These features run automatically so long as you leave your printer plugged in and help to ensure that your printer will always be ready for your next print job. Check out the video linked in the card above and the description below to learn more about Ricoh's automatic maintenance features. Now, there are still some warning signs you need to be on the lookout for that will tell you if you are overdue to perform maintenance on your printer. Is your opacity not popping the way that you want it to? Have you noticed any color banding or strange stains starting to appear on your garment? Have you started noticing any excess ink starting to build up on your printer head or any other part of your machine? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then it is time for you to perform a routine maintenance cleaning of your printer. Another solution to these problems is making sure the machine's humidity is at a minimum of 40%, but ideally at or above 45%. Now that you know what to watch out for, let's take a look at how to properly maintain your printer. Walk with me. We'll start with the Rico RI1000. Now, let's go ahead and check the cleaning supplies you'll need. You'll need cleaning applicators cleaning solution, lint-free wipes, alcohol, and a mirror. Now, if you don't have a mirror, you can actually use the back of your platen as it has a reflective surface. Let's start off with our daily maintenance for the Rico RI1000. The first thing that we'll do is shake our white ink cartridges. There will be a prompt on the screen that tells you when this needs to be done. So just wait for the machine to give you the message. The second daily maintenance task would be to run your nozzle check. This is done at the beginning of the day in order to check that the machine doesn't have any clogs in the nozzles. It's always better to catch it at the start before it's too late. Moving on to our weekly maintenance. First, go to your touchscreen and tap the second tab at the bottom. After selecting manual maintenance, your printer head will detach and shift to the center of your printer. Once in place, hold down the power button until you are prompted to shut down your machine. Once the machine has shut down, Go around the back and flip the power switch off. Now that our machine is powered off, we can open up the lid and start cleaning. We'll begin by cleaning our maintenance station. Take your cleaning applicator, dip it in your cleaning solution, and gently remove the buildup layer of ink from the gaskets. Be especially gentle with the final gasket because it has a very sensitive bubble breaker that can get damaged if you apply too much pressure. Next, remove the ink from the wiper assembly. You can actually apply a little more pressure when cleaning this part since ink tends to build up more heavily here. Using a dry applicator or lint-free wipe, gently wipe any excess liquid or ink from the gaskets and wiper assembly. Now, let's clean the printer head itself. Take your mirror or the back of your platen and set it underneath the print head. 
Take your applicator, dip it in your cleaning solution, and gently wipe off any ink that has collected in the corners of your nozzles. Then, take a dry, lint-free wipe and gently clean the whole thing. You always want to use a dry, lint-free wipe to clean the main part of the nozzle itself. Finally, we'll clean up the ink sump. Simply take a lint-free wipe, apply a little bit of cleaning solution, and then wipe off any excess ink from the top of the left ink sump. With monthly maintenance, you'll want to start by checking your air filters to make sure they are clear. You'll also need to re-grease the rails that your printer carriage rides on. To remove the old grease, simply slide your printer head over to one side of your machine so it's out of the way and wipe the rails down with a lint-free wipe. Once you wipe your rails down on one side, slide your printer carriage over and repeat the process on the other side. As you're doing this, make sure that your printer head does not cross into the maintenance station. Now that we've removed the old grease, we're going to apply about a pea-sized amount of our new grease to our applicator and gently rub the new grease onto the top of your rails. Once we've applied our new grease, we're going to gently exercise the printer carriage by sliding it back and forth just to make sure it glides smoothly. The last thing we're going to do is clean our encoder strip. You're going to just douse a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto a lint-free wipe and you're going to very gently wipe your encoder strip. All right, let's talk about the RI-2000. Here is our Rico RI-2000, which is an upgrade from the RI-1000. I'm gonna tell you about two key differences that separate them from each other. It has two ink systems. The first system is for the white ink and it needs to be cleaned about every three days. The second system is for your colored ink and needs to be cleaned every 10 days. The second key difference between the RI-1000 and RI-2000 is that the 2000 actually has an automated self-cleaning feature that you can use to clean your print head instead of having to do it manually. To perform the automated jig head maintenance, you're going to need your head cleaning jig, cleaning pads, cleaning solution, and a dropper. First, attach two cleaning pads to your head cleaning jig, using your dropper to apply a little bit of cleaning solution to each pad. Next, go to your second tab on your touchscreen and select Automated Jig Maintenance. Select which print head you want to perform the maintenance on. Remove your platen and replace it with your head cleaning jig. Hit the start button on your touchscreen and the printer will instantly begin cleaning the print head. It's just that easy. For more information about the differences between the RI-1000 and RI-2000, check out the video linked in the card above and the description below. The rest of the maintenance remains virtually the same between the two machines, with a few added steps for the Rico RI-2000. For daily maintenance, you will still shake your cartridges, although there are four white ink cartridges instead of two. And run a nozzle check. For weekly maintenance, you will still clean the maintenance station and clean the ink sump. And lastly, with the monthly maintenance, you will check your air filters. Keep in mind, in the RI-2000, you can find the air filters near the rails. Grease your rods and clean your encoder strips. And that's all there is to it. Whether you have the RI-1000 or RI-2000, performing regular maintenance of your DTG printer is a straightforward, easy process that will extend the life of your machine and will keep your printed garments looking their best. Well, that's it guys. If you found any of this information helpful, remember to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery on Facebook, where we share helpful tips every day. Not to mention, there are over 27,000 members in there that can help you as well. We're also active on Instagram, where we share tips, stories, and many how-to tutorials for everything embroidery and printing related. Links to our social media channels can be found in the description below, along with a link to the videos mentioned in this episode. And remember, if you have any tips or tricks that I didn't mention, share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.